I can't believe I'm saying this, but like, FIFA's fun right now, man. FIFA is really fun right now, and there's great content today. I'm Slater. If you're new to the channel, I review the content every single day in FIFA 23. And with that being said, I'm in love with the Shape Scissors promo. I'm in love with the fact that me and you are staring at a helmet-wearing Peter Check striker card uh, SPC. I'll review that SPC today. I'm going to open this year-in-review player pick that dropped today as well. There's a lot of really cool content that's been happening on a daily basis. There's cool cup content. There's like theme teams for Weekend League, right? There's just a very relaxed, summery nature to this entire Shades of Their promo. And I think that if EA was like this all the time, FIFA would be even that much better of a game. With that being said, I'm gonna chapter out this entire video. So if you're like, I just wanna know about Peter Check, you can fast forward there. I'm gonna start with the year interview player pick and we're gonna dive into this thing if you're new to the channel. Hit that sub button. Also, to all the OGs, appreciate the love on here. Thanks for the people that have been watching us for a long time. Let's dive into this thing. So, first we're going to start with the year-in-view player pick. I want to dive in here. So, this is, we get these all the time. You can earn one of four players that release through select SBCs during, ob uh, and objectives, my apologies, during March, April, and May. Now, I can't think of who's, like, the biggest card you would get from that. I'm trying to think, like, I know Utmakana was a pretty big SBC, right? He would technically, oh, no, mate, no, we're in June. I'm trying to think of what, so that's like team of the season. It had to be like a big team of the season card if there was a big player of the month card. I'm going to guess that maybe March, April, May, there may have been that 93 rated player of the month Mbappe that you could technically get from this. I think that would have been somewhere um, in that category of time. So someone will be able to release, it's impossible to really know, like someone needs to go through and look at every single one of the objectives and SPCs released during that time, which someone will do, but there's not enough time in this video. So I don't know who like the best cards you're going to get from this is, but internally it's an 86 overall team with a team of the week or a team of the season. I'm sorry, team of the season or team of the season moments uh, with a prime mixed player pack back, which is uh, an okay pack, but nothing too special. And then a small goal player pack for an 84 overall team. If we jump over to Footbin, let me see if they came with a price for this yet. You new player pick. It's coming in at 140,000 coins. And listen, I I think the reality is that, like, you got to think it's June, right? And the ramped up ability of Team of Season and Shape Shifter cards comparatively to cards that release in March or April or even May is really, really drastic to the point that I hate saying this. Like, I don't want to be a Debbie Downer, but, like, the odds are you will not get a player that's, that would be, if released today, a 140,000 coin SPC. But you're hoping that you're going to get some wonderful, you know, big time... Um, you know, Mbappe player of the month type of card or some crazy team of the season card that came out during that time. I just want to even see what cards even came out. Like, I can't even remember the SBCs that would have been released. I think historically, Icon SBCs never are involved in the interview player, so don't expect that from this unless this proves me wrong. I'm pretty positive that Icons are never included, but maybe that's a little bit different now. Yeah, you're in a chilled uh, summer vibe of the game. So here we go. I'm going to rip this thing open. So I'm very very confident that i think if you added all these cards up together they would not be they might be worth 140k because team of the seasons are worth a lot right now because of their need for sbcs i'm very confident that none of these would equate to that value and then like look at a foot birthday ballers card you can get right now think about how many sbcs there were of that there'll probably be a lot of you getting cards like that which is not ideal doki was an objective and then griffo and chukweze were sbcs so for me very bad value. And I think historically these just kind of are. Um, there are always better SPCs. I'm going to guess that like if you haven't done, for example, hold on, let me show you. Like if you have not done the 92, if that's somewhere in here, the 92 plus, I must've missed it. That like 92 plus this thing, I've already completed it. So if you, if you hadn't done this already, like I have this on my main account still available, like that is such better value. And an 8785 compared to an 8684, but for the chance of you know, 14 of the season, 92 plus, or shapes it. There's like, it, I'm just saying the year review player pick is there. It's fun if you want to do it, but it is never a good value SBC. And I think you should, you could hold your fodder. And I'm sure EA will release a really cool SBC. You know, we're getting a mini release on Sunday. Like we're going to get upgrades on Monday. Like there will be another big SBC because, you know, that will come out in the next probably, I think two, three days. So if you wanted to wait, maybe in your best interest, right? Let's dive into the shapeshifter icon Peter check card, which I am in love with. Okay. I don't know. No one ever knows how these cards will play in game until you use them. Right. We do not know how a goalie thrown into the outfield. Cause this is all new. We wanted EA to do this for forever and they're finally doing it now, which is so cool. We don't know how these guys will translate. What I do know is that he's a six foot five, 
high medium work rate, five star skiller with four star weak foot that's wearing a helmet, dude. You know what I mean? I, I, you know, somewhere in us, like I do these things very seriously. I try and tell you guys like what's good, bad fodder. Like for example, you're in your D player pick. I don't think it's worth your time most of the time. Um, this is just fun, dude. You know what I mean? We're, we're just enjoying the game at this point. And he's got a lot of great stats. He's got good pace splits. He's got 99 shot power, 95 finishing, 90 some attack position. Like that's sick, right? 96 vision, 96 short pass, 95 long pass. You know, every dribbling stats is 95 plus minus his agility. 99 heading accuracy, 95 stamina, 90. There's nothing about this card that I'm going to look at and tell you like, oh, I don't, I don't think he's good value, right? Outside the foot shot trade too. Like he looks insane. He looks absolutely insane. He looks fantastic. I actually, I think is a very, even a, a more accurate term. He looks fantastic. Now my thought process is that he maybe doesn't feel that great in game because EA priced him really cheap, which is a bronze and a silver squad for a two or gold pack. So do that even if you're not going to do check. Then it's a, a bronze and silver team for his loan. So what I would do if I were you is, right, bronze and silver team, we can all do that in our sleep. Go get yourself the loan, throw him into a friendly game, and see if you like him, right? And the beautiful thing is, if you don't even want to do that, he's only an 85 overall team and an 87 overall team that you can use a team of the week, team of the season, or foot champions player with. So that's even easier. That's even cheaper, right? Tots are so expensive on the market, you could use a red for this. And that's awesome, so cheap. I, I don't know how I could sit here and say this is not worth completing. Like, I hope that I'm facing Peter Checks left, right, and center in the weekend league. Like, this is sweet. This is awesome content. This is engaging content. This is fun content. This is what we need in the summer from EA. He's coming in at 181,000 coins, which has 668 upvotes and 69 downvotes. 69 is a freaking cool number. So I'm not going to hand the fact that 69 people downloaded this, but if you've downloaded this, you need to look at yourself in the mirror. This is absolutely fantastic. If you're on new gen and you want to keep him at lengthy, which you can do if you would like to, um, let's see, he's got really good stats. Um, cause if I, if you don't care about new gen, I'd put an engine on him because I think the shooting stats are immaculate. The physical stats are fantastic. Makes him a perfect passer of the ball and what matters gives him 99 balance, 99 dribbling, and then boost that agility to 88 with a boosted pace boost. So I like that a lot. I'm even on new gen and I'll use an engine on him. I'm going to do this card for sure. Um, but I, I'm going to do that with this card. But what I would say to you is, and I'm going to guess by the way, that we're going to get a Ned bed in a mini release. Cause we haven't had a Ned bed special. So he's going to probably get a better link here in a second too. Or not that it matters. But I'm just saying there's probably gonna be another check. I would think there's another check shapes or icon coming out very soon too, which is just cool. Um, if you're on new gen and you want to keep them at that, um, you want to boost the pace, you know, you'd probably end up with a Hawk, just perfect shooting, almost, you know, top tier pace. And then that 99 strength with 93 aggression. Um, you'd probably put a Hawk on him. So absolutely brilliant, brilliant, fantastic, amazing, great, engaging, awesome content. Is that enough adjectives for you? to enjoy what we have here. Then we have a Shapes, there's a challenge pack. It's a Primal Electro, which is never a bad pack. We take those for sure. Uh, clubs max five, which is always a pain. Players in the same league, minimum three. Players in the same country, max four. Gold players, minimum 10. A little bit of a pain for what the pack is in return. You want to go one league and you want to, you know, yeah, you got to max, you got to hope that you have, you know, like La Liga is always a really good one for this. And the center forward thing kind of sucks, to be honest. With 22 cam, you could avoid center forward, so don't like use a position modifier there. Literally just go like left mid, right, like center mid, center mid, right mid, right? And what I would do is um, the guys that are not of the same nationality of other players, I'd probably chuck them into the center forward pieces. And then like, you know, Spanish, you know, get a couple of Spaniards in here to get yourself some really good chemistry and then go from there. So it's not... A super hard SBC. It's just a little bit of like a one you have to figure out, but you should be able to get that done really easily with like the La Liga. Um, La Liga, I think, is probably your best league um, for this particular SBC. So there's the content I, that I've seen so far. Let me see if there's any new objective content. I doubt they're like teasing the um, drop tomorrow. So I see nothing here um, in this regard. And I think this was already here yesterday. Um, if you don't know about this too, I didn't go over this in my main review yesterday and I apologize, but there's like this thing you can, you can grind to get some tokens. Um, you can like watch, you just got to link your EA and YouTube account. Um, and you can watch these like thing in the background and you get two tokens that you can use towards swaps, um, that have been out for a long time. I never do them personally. So don't feel pressed if you're like, I don't want to do that. Like I've never done those ever in however long, how many years they've been doing that in FIFA. So don't feel pressed. Content's great. I'm loving it. I'm running 20 games a week in league today. 
um, with a team that I built. Um, if you're actually here at the back end of this promo, let me, um, at the back end of this video, let me show you something really cool. Because I, I know a lot of you, um, maybe you just know me from the YouTube channel. So let me go to my just chatting stream section of this thing. This is the room that uh, we start our streams off in. Uh, and if you can't tell, I'm a huge Paulo Dybala fan. But what I wanted to say was, I'm we're doing a really fun stream. If none of you guys have ever been to the channel, you know I gotta promote myself, dude. You know what I mean? This is the name of the game. You can't just sit there and never try and get yourself a little bit of that marketing plug. So with that being said, I do want to show you guys. We I challenge myself every single uh, weekend league in some way, shape, or form. Um, and this upcoming weekend league, what I did was I saved 50 uh, packs from the what it took to complete the Bomba objective from last Shape Shifter team, and then all the packs from Bomba. And we, what we did was we built an entire team using only those packs, okay? Using literally only those packs. And this is the team that we packed. So we got that Bomba card. We finished Sorloff. We finished Ronald Komen. We finished uh, Hazard. We packed Enter Valencia, who looks absolutely fantastic. And then miraculously packed the man, the match, freaking hair guy that you see right in front of us. Finished Hector. Finished Asensio. Finished Joaquin. And packed Rudiger. Um, which is really, really sweet, on top of packing uh, Orsolini and having some bench players. So this is the team that I'm going to use in the Weekend League. We literally, yeah, I literally built this from the Bomba objective. Just shows you what you can do grinding in this game and then getting a little bit of luck on the top end. So we're going to run that today. It should be a really fun stream um, and all of the rewards and everything in that uh, stream too. So if you haven't checked it out, in the description below, Slater AC would love to see you there. Um, and that's me rambling and ranting for the rest of the day. Have a great Saturday, man. All right? Peace.